We're Ashley and Christian, and we started traveling together in March of 2017 and haven't stopped since. After visiting over 30 countries across four continents, we've become hooked on seeing, tasting, and trying new things. Being pushed out of our comfort zones while traveling has inspired us to set a crazy goal of visiting every country in the world. Hello from Bucharest. We got in late last night and we spent the last 20 hours just catching up on videos. We have a vlog posting today. We did some laundry, we got some food, and it is extremely hot here right now. This area of Europe is going through a heat wave. So instead of going out during midday and absolutely being miserable, we've decided that we are gonna spend most of our evening out doing activities. We've reserved a restaurant for dinner that looks really good, and we are ready to go out and explore Bucharest. Our tiny elevator, and I think we're both gonna to attempt to fit. I think it's park, right? P? Yeah, sure. This uh, elevator has a capacity of four people. Where? <laughs> Maybe three if you're like on top of each other. Two is Push pushing it. it. Ooh, we are ready to go. We stopped into the bakery by our apartment. Our host actually told us to try this traditional or a favorite pretzel dessert. It's called a Kovrig, and I got it with chocolate, I think. Oh yeah. Both Ash and I wear white t-shirts today. Any day we wear a white t-shirt is a bad idea. Bad decision. I got my tie to go stick. <laughs> the pretzels hollowed out, and they just stuff it with, there was cheese and chocolate. I think one had raisins. This is really good. I'm gonna have to get another one of these before we leave. For sure. I got a piece of pizza. As you can see, it's pretty good, because it's almost gone. St. Nicholas Orthodox Church. And it says it's open till six, but it is not. I think it's under construction though, as you can see. So maybe they're not letting anybody in while they're working on it. This is how hot it is. There are puddles of AC fluid everywhere. <laughs> this is Kartureshti Carousel, and it is a six story bookshop. They have Walt Whitman chocolate and Jane Austen chocolate. This is really cool. It's way more than just books in here for sure. Maka Villa Cross, which is just this little indoor area. There's a lot of hookah, a lot of cafes. Bucharest is known as the Little Paris of the East, and this area really exemplifies that feeling. We've seen a lot of really beautiful buildings that we go, oh my gosh, what, what is that? And then it turns out to be a bank, and this is another one. This is just a CEC bank. Their banks here are gorgeous. Like, the architecture on this, so intricate. says it's open till 8 and it's not open either I feel like nothing has been open when we want to go see it but you can see the garden and it's really beautiful in there this is the monastery that we wanted to see if you come here and it's open go inside for us it's kind of small but it's very unique looking stands out definitely for sure here in the middle of the city it's a very old building and there's a little cemetery it looks like in the back I bet it is probably gorgeous inside as well the gardens are supposed to be the best part Myself. 
After the Pentagon in the United States, this is the second largest parliament building in the world. This thing is huge. Having looked up some of the largest government buildings in the world just now, this is probably most impressive. Just got out of the Uber and we're on our way to dinner. And this place kind of looks kind of similar to Hofbrauhaus from what we could see, but it also has, of course, all the Romanian touches. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. Oh, we just arrived here, it's here, right? Starting with the beef tripe soup, which is a very traditional soup, one of the most popular. It's like a soured beef soup, is what it said. It smells very sour creamy. Mm. Yeah, that's very different. It's the very, very tender, kind of fatty part of the beef. It's not dense or chewy. So the broth tastes like sour, like a, like a liquid sour cream. It's pretty good. We got the traditional bread to go with it. For our main course, we both got pork ribs and potatoes. And this is what I got the first night as well. These just taste different. These taste more smoky. But look how big this is. I did not think it was going to be this big. We could have totally split it. <laughs> For our last Romanian dish, we have gotten the beautiful pavanashi. This is a traditional dessert of two fried balls of dough covered in a sour cream and usually black currant, black blueberry, some kind of berry jam, and then two more balls of dough on top, covered in powdered sugar, and it looks incredible. Oh my gosh, look at how thick. It tastes like sweet dough with a perfect crisp on the outside. The sour cream is more like a Greek yogurt taste. The berries are sweet but tart, and the layer of powdered sugar just completes it perfectly. This is amazing. This is, this is my favorite dessert we've had. Riding home in style. <laughs> I think she's having a little too much fun on these. Way too much fun. I got up to 24 kilometers an hour on my <laughs> bird thing. On my, what's it called? It is an Uber bike, or Uber scooter. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna? Okay, get across the street. Get across the street. Bucharest is a really nice city for nightlife. We're almost back to our apartment, and uh, we're gonna go up, probably take a shower, and relax. Our train tomorrow. Our nine hour train. Which I am not excited for. Mm -hmm. 